Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So you can see here we've come up against the Matrix and this is the final war of the season. Interestingly for SSX, the original target for the season was uh, just Masters. We, we always want to try and get at least the Masters rewards, but if we sort of go above or beyond or even just below it, then we, we review the season, see the good, see the bad and uh, figure out everything. So here you go, you can see my assignments here. I actually get assigned Gallon for the first time this season, which means I need to get a new character for the uh, the thumbnail. So, okay, that's fine. We got Doctor Doom still and Nick Fury still, so two pretty solid members and pretty steady people within the team that I keep being assigned. Uh, I obviously must be doing something right and uh, Officer Slaymon must be happy with the way that I'm using these champions. So this first fight here with Colossus is just gallon food. Um, so you're going to see, and people might not like me for it, but this fight is so not dangerous in any way. Um, I literally just put on these boosts just to boost. Um, probably normally even do this unboosted uh, because, yeah, unless I get smacked around by Colossus, the danger to, to me here is minimal. So all you're going to go in, because every time he gains armor, he just feeds Colossus, uh, feeds Gallon even. So you're going to see here, look, I'm just attacking him. Because of the node as well, it's also feeding my Gallon as he's duped. It ramps him up a little bit quicker. So dodge the special one, gain a few more charges. Parry heavy, gain a couple more just to put me towards the 999 figure. And you can see Bosch, Ding, and Dong. He is gone. So in terms of section one, that's it. Um, I was meant to take the 23 shared fight, uh, but sadly, due to just like availabilities of people, it wasn't really possible. So my next fight was gonna be this Sasquatch on 26. Now we were struggling for a counter to this. Uh, we decided eventually to go with myself as Dr. Doom, uh, just put a white magneto on. So any medium attacks to apply shocks will trigger the conflictor, but the parries won't. So main intention here is just to attack him in the shock phase, unless desperate, if needed. I can obviously hit him in the bleed, but I just know that I have a chance to take the damage back. Main thing to worry about here is Sasquatch being a little bit annoying with his wrath timing. I may have to skip like a whole phase or two. Dependent on the way it goes, you see here, he goes into wrath very early here. Um, now, my intention originally was to try and get myself to the special free just to try and do the fury damage and let's just see how much that ticks away now this is a sig 200 sasquatch so when his health is low he has a um i can't remember exactly 70 percent i think it is chance to regenerate missing health so his health can go like kind of crazy and here you can see i kind of got everything staggered back to normal and right okay we can now attack him, special free, let's see what this does. Because this is gonna set the pace for the rest of this fight. So it did about 16, 17%, I think it was, it may have been a little bit more. I think it was on about 71 when I threw it. But now what the plan is, is to later on, because he's getting towards the 40% phase where he can now start to regen. So the plan is now that I'm gonna wait out this bleed phase, uh, lose the fury and whatever, and I'm gonna try and recycle one more special free to then eventually kill him with a special two after that. So you're gonna see here, <coughs> I'm gonna attack him in the shock phase again. And now we're gonna go through here. He's just starting to regen, so I need to watch out for that. You can see it's a pretty potent regen. It's not going away anytime soon. We're in the bleed phase. He's now at 10, uh, the, um, the stacks. So very soon he's gonna go into wrath. So now he's stun immune. He's in the bleed phase. Um, every time he does a heavy, he's unstoppable. Luckily for me, he doesn't really have any power, so I don't have to worry about like trying to also get a, like, get a special out of him. I just have to literally just sit in this corner and just mind my own business. The whole shock phase disappears throughout the wrath cycle, so now we're back into bleed. So again, I don't want to be attacking them again, so it's just sat here again, waiting, just letting this Sasquatch kind of wail it on me. Um, so, it is what it is here. I attack him quickly just before the start of the shock phase, and now I'm thinking to myself, right, okay, there. I just didn't realize my shock had ended so quickly. Um, I remember doing it at the time, seeing the shock had disappeared, throwing the heavy, him dashing away and being like, why did I do that? That was so stupid. Um, but it is what it is. 
So now we're going to throw the special three because he's on 25%. He should be on relatively low stacks for four. So plan is now build myself back up to a special two. You see here the conflictor is still on the timer. So all of these incinerates will land and stick. I just now have these bleeds on me and I'm just watching his health disappear. And there we go. Arguably one of my toughest fights probably within the season and within this war especially is now over. So now I can move up to this Quicksilver on Path 7. Now this is the first time I've done anything on Path 7 this season. Used to be a bit of a Path 7 king back in the day when Domino was here on Spite. But we don't have to do that fight anymore, thank God. Um, Nick Fury versus Quicksilver. My plan here is just to advance power because I have two of them in the overflow. And I'll just throw a special if I need to. Um, keep my tactical charges up just so then he can't evade after a parry. And my combos on light attacks. And you're just going to watch this Quicksilver just hopefully melt, is the plan. He will hopefully, hopefully melt. Now, you can see here, the bleed damage is doing a lot. I have got five out of five uh, deep wounds on. At this point, I'm relatively okay boosted. This is a rank four Nick Fury. So you can see here, and I planned, because I have one more Nick Fury fight, I do plan on trying to end this with as much HP as I can. Now, if I didn't have another fight, I would just instantly push this guy to special three, not care, go crazy, like, enjoy it. Enjoy pushing him to special three, because there's no danger to me, and yeah, that'd be it. But as I said, because I have one more fight with Nick, I'm a bit conscious of my, um, my health. I don't really want to even potentially go into the second life. That could be very dangerous for the next fight that I have him for. So I just don't here. Finally, Quicksilver throws a special two and I can punish him for it. I still have more than five tactical charges. So we're fine on that front. He's not gonna evade after a parry. And you can see that one more intercept just catches him and kills him. Onto King Group. The plan is here to heal up uh, Dr. Doom. Uh, this one, I wasn't sure about the node combination at first. I did ask the officer just because I'd not checked. And like I said, this is the first time of me doing path. Um, Path seven this season. So the plan of action was to um, knock them down to remove the protection and then just kind of go crazy on them. Remember they are a tactic defender, so I can glance after they throw a special. So just remind myself of that. I don't really want to be throwing like special freeze or anything like that if I have the glance and debuff active. And anytime they shrug off a debuff, you can see there they get the little unblockable sort of thing. So now there's a chance and here he goes, he goes unblockable now. So that's a passive unblockable to which I cannot steal. But now I've knocked them down, the protection's gone, so all I need to do is just not get hit. Is the, the main aim of the game here. Is just don't get hit, and we're all good. You can see here, I let the Furies come back. Uh, ideally, I probably should have staggered them, just to stop them coming back, but they did, and uh, that's unfortunate. But now we have the glance and debuff, so I'm gonna wait. I'm literally just gonna wait this whole thing out. You're gonna see here that pushes me up with Mystic Dispersion. And now I'm going to be pushing him above a special two if I can with this next knockdown. And then we're gonna start the doom cycle. From here and the rest of the fight is pretty much my time to just try and bully him. Try and stop him throwing any specials if I can to stop the glancing debuff happening. The staggers here should take away all the furies as you can see they did. Um, so now I'm just waiting, waiting for that protection to come back, end the shock, and then we go in back for another special free. So that timing there was perfect. You can see the shock just went past the protection timing so that I could literally instantly knock him down to remove it again, not have to worry about anything else going off, and yeah. The fight's going pretty much as well as I could have hoped. We're just going to kill him off here with the last medium. And that's Dr. Doom's season done. It's good to see a season using Doom. I'm always quite happy. But now we have one last fight uh, against probably my nemesis. And if you've watched the last video, um, I did speak about it there. Chavez is, Chavez is not my friend. And we are not friends. She has done some disgusting things to me in the past before on defense when I had to fight her. And I still don't appreciate it. So we're going to go into this fight. Now, change my masteries up for this. I've put literally the full my recoil tree on and my plan is to just invulnerable and go crazy she can do heavy attacks she can do whatever she wants i don't care i am just going to absolutely nuke her with nick fury 
So you can see the, the bleeds and the, the poison are doing a little bit of damage to me. I do end up taking quite a bit of damage back from her um, because of uh, like, I think it's normally energy damage that gets reflected onto you. But because of what's going off here, she later on, you're gonna see it when my health gets a little bit lower. She's gonna to decide to um, throw the special free in a second. And here's a neat little trick that I learned from the Battlegrounds meta that came up. So because of Nick Fury and his ability to shrug off debuffs on a knockdown, you can still safely throw your special two on this node because as soon as they're knocked down, he will then shrug off the stun. So I didn't, I like, I knew about that. So it was all good. And here you're gonna see she just drops and I have a full yellow bar. Who said, hey, who said that uh, these things can't happen? So I did take a screenshot just because I thought that was really funny how I ended up with a full yellow bar. My battle group ended up beating their battle group 3 to 2. So great job, battle group 1. Uh, we did have a disconnect in there, unfortunately. But we did end up losing this war overall, and it ends up costing us top 10 spot. So we are going to be in Masters, just not the top 10. Again, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really appreciated all the support throughout this season. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. And if you like it, please subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.